If you guys moving here, we are going to be opening Valorant for the very first time. You might be confused, like, hey, why do you have this angle and a green screen behind you? So, I'm going to have it like this because we're going to be in game. And I didn't move my green screen because right now I'm being held hostage by my Chihuahua who's on my lap. So, keeping that in mind, we're just going to launch the game right now. <sighs> Already had this updated. Oh, we, I'm ready to go after we reacted to the cinematic trailer and ignition. I'm getting this battle pass. I have I don't think I've ever I've never bought a battle pass. I've played Call of Duty Modern Warfare that's had a battle pass. I've played Fortnite that's had a battle pass. I've played game multiple games without a battle pass, but the that one's gonna be, be my very I didn't even I didn't even buy CSGO's battle pass, but this is gonna be the very first battle pass I ever buy. I'm ready. I'm excited. It starts with you. As a part of the Valorant community, I will, one, compete to win together. Teamwork wins games. I recognize that I can only win with teammates, not in spite of them. Commit to respect and empathy. I understand that respect and empathy builds trust, and the trust is needed so everyone can perform their best. Protect my community. I will build commu I will build the community I want to play in one match at a time. I will champion the need of others while striving to keep my games welcoming and fair for everyone. Be my own last line of defense. I will help Riot keep me safe. I will be responsible with my account, devices, personal information, and conduct. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, party. Nah, keep that off. Uh, I don't really care about what party chat. Yeah, we got that save. Save and close. <sighs> Act one, baby. Oh snap! They have this animated now. This wasn't animated. <sighs> All right, we're gonna head into. All right, hold on. Let's check out everything first real quick before... Okay, I think we're back to level one for everything. What? Yo, my skin better be here, though. Where it at? <laughs> no! It's gone! It's gone. Ooh, I like these banners, though. These look nice. So, is Reyna, like, playable, like, right now? Like, she playable, like, right now? Or not the locker? I got... Play some games to receive a free age. Oh, okay, so I can recruit. Okay, 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 okay. Does it show our abilities now? Oh, okay, so it has our abilities right here. But I want to do them, like, myself. Instead of just reading through them. Like, I want to read them and then do them. Play some f f f games to receive a free age. Like, dude, I'm unlocking Viper. F God damn it, she's not a part of the free age unlock. Whatever, so we're going to go to a custom game and see what's the deal. Oh, Spike Rush. Spike Rush, your shoulder... Shorter, uh, lower stakes value gameplay, same rules as unrated with added power up orbs and randomized weapon loadouts. First to four, that's dope. That's like a little quick warm up. It's legitimately a little quick warm up. <gasps> the action map is already here, dude. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Start match. Let's go, BB. Oh, let's get it. Huh. Oh, we got animation. That was hot. That is hot. Oh, oh, jet, jet, jet. Oh, ah, Phoenix. <laughs> Yo, that is nice. Ah, that's great. That is great. Oh my goodness. That's epic. Can I see the rest or I have to unlock them to see the rest of them? No, I gotta unlock you. Ah, that's cool. But dude, we're gonna lock your jet, baby. They have animated stuff when you cook. Oh! Let's go. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, so much to make a grown man cry. Oh. Don't cry, Dash. I'll cry with you. Oh, I'll cry for you, I mean. Oh. I gotta check this out, man. I make fun of their dumb faces, but they're us. <laughs> we look right. stupid. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. My ult's ready. Hey, yo, does it look kind of different or is it me? Am I tweaking or does it look kind of different? Is it me or does the game look different? Like, the, the textures and designs. It might be just me. That's different. That little triangle. Yeah. There wasn't a triangle around there at first. How do the marks look? Here. Hmm, looks the same. Okay. 
My phone's going off. I'm popular today. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy. This is not even A-side. Like, is this... What? Oh, this is the breakable windows that we saw right here. Oh, I can't even melee them. Well, I don't know why I thought I had a... I haven't played too much Overwatch. Oh, that's dope! Oh, this is nice. I'm pretty sure it's wall bangable. Definitely, but you can still keep playing behind this. Ah, ah. And on top of it, that's kind of weird though. Oh, this is so nice, dude. What's it called? They increase uh, Jet's freaking smoke, so it's seven seconds now. Oh my gosh. That feels so much longer. Even what the fuck? Are we sure that's seven seconds? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I don't have no way to count it. I have no way to count it. I'll probably put a timer on, on here. Duh. Oh my goodness! I just locked myself out. <laughs> Dude, imagine. Dying. Oh snap, we have to connect. Oh wait, there's a B site? What the hell? Can you open it? Of course you can. Oh, still got a nice little rotate to the B site. Wow, they have like a little cubby area right here. That's dope. Okay, so this is where the or this is where the orb is. This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. I like this. I like this a lot. This is nice. I feel like I need to go to attack site first. I figure this. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's the attacker side spawn right here. This is the attacker side spawn. Ooh, everything. They change the triangle. This is interesting. All right. So if I want to go to A side, right? And then I'm gonna attack right here. So the orb is. What? Wait a minute. Is there like a mid? Oh my gosh. There's a mid. Like an actual mid. Not like it just happens to be the middle of the map, but like there's an actual mid. I know I'm not making sense. Okay, so they would call some stuff middle in some maps where it wasn't actually like a middle. It just was like in the direct center of the map. When I mean middle, there's an actual pathway where both teams meet in the middle in between a and b side now i think now some of you are looking at me crazy right now but trust me i know what i'm talking about trust me trust me man you gotta trust me this is dope you got an actual middle where you can have a freaking op dude and take mid fights that's sick i wonder how the spawns are in comparison though because that is so dope this is gonna this is a dope map so what's it called so volcano the designer of these maps he says that for these maps there's all these maps have something unique like what's unique about haven is that there's three bomb sites what's unique about bind is that there's teleporters when you unique about split is the rope so i wonder what's the unique factor in here we're gonna find that maybe there's a freaking mid where you can actually take fights i don't know how those spawns are gonna work i probably gotta get a friend or so we just get one friend and test out these spawns right here oh my god these are breakable Oh, wait, the special thing in the map is the movable door. Oh, I'm smart. I wonder if that's the only door that you can open and close here. So I want to come to B side, right? Let me see what we got over here. So when is going to be the first point of contact? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. snap, dude. When you push mid, you got to worry about it. Dude, they can honestly do a B split. They can clear out mid and just meet up through B right here. There's a lot of open ways to get through. There's a oh, so the first point of like, I think how the orbs are is like, uh, like how they want the orbs. They don't want the orbs to be in favor of attackers, defenders. They want orbs to be like somewhere where both teams can grab. And I feel like this, is, I feel like this orb is definitely an advantage of attackers because for like, think about it for you, and a defender. I mean, yeah, you could do this, but say you don't do that, you gotta like. Jump up here, here, and then grab it, you know? Dude, this is dope. You can honestly camp the orb right here, dude. Just like, oh my gosh, you can have a bait setup right here. Just have some right here. Ah, ah, what's it called? And when they go up here to tap the orb, you're expecting this person to peek, but you're like, ha! Ah! Oh, that's a nice bait setup right there. That is a Wait, what does this lever do? Oh, if you're getting split. Oh, that's hot. Open that back up! Open up that door! Ah! Oh, that is awesome! Dude, okay, think about it. So, say if their play is a B split, 
Like some of their teammates are going through right there through let's call that B main. Where's this card? B lobby. So say some of their teammates are called B they go through B lobby, but then some of their teammates are going through mid courtyard and they're splitting right here. If you're aware of that, if your mid car says, Hey, I think they're gonna split mid mid to B, and you and you're and so say you play two B, say you play two A, one mid, two B, right? So say your B player calls that he hears some footsteps going towards B. And then your mid player says, I hear footsteps middle. I think they're going to push middle. So with that intel, you know, there's pushing. If they're pushing B and mid at the same time, they're probably going to try to split B. So the fact is, I'm like, oh, snap. Boom. No, I got to do is just worry about here. Sure, that's breakable and stuff. But the fact is, you bought yourself more time right here. And if that's the case, one of you can watch right here. One of you can hold this down. And the other one can hold down right here. If they do, can so say you do break this down. So say you break they don't break this down and they're like ah dang let's keep pushing through here since you're gonna keep pushing through here your mid player can have it or you can set up a crossfire right here so your mid player is playing on um on this side right and then your this your second b player was like playing right right here right here having this crossfire established if that makes sense you know oh these doors they're changing the game for defense jeez dude these doors will be so good on retake oh my gosh on retake i just close them immediately screw it Excuse me, but it's not the same. I don't think it's the same thing for over at A. Let's take a look at A side. All right, so you got to go past middle. I'm not mining past it. Like there's middle right there. So you got to go past middle towards A side, right? Nice little aesthetics right here. I dare you can use these for cover. So this is the first point of contact or where the orb is. So they got to freaking spawn all the way over there. Run all the way freaking over here for this orb. Well, they're probably in most case scenarios, it's probably gonna be them holding this angle right here. Maybe if they're fast enough, like say you could probably have a B switch set up right here. Honestly, you can have one holding right here and have one chilling right here playing for the orb. Because I guess before I even think about setups, I gotta see like how do you get from here? So you gotta come through here from mid. Mm. So if you, if they're gonna come from mid, to, honestly, if they're mid present, you probably just activate the freaking doors. Actually, no. Okay, so you come mid. This is a, so if you come mid directly to A, and you can get shut down from mid, from mid to A by doing this. So if they're doing it, this is honestly, this makes it harder to do a site split. So it makes it harder to do it to do an A split. And it makes it harder to do a B split, basically, with these doors right here. So right here, you can push into the teammate spawn. So the thing is though, right? All right, right. So say, so say you your teammates get, we'll call this log control, but you know it's a main. So say your teammates get a main, get, uh, get um a main control, right? So say your teammates get a main control, right? And you're splitting through mid, and you fought mid, you're, you're alive, right? But then someone right here activates this door, so they can only run about a main. So the thing is, you're not totally screwed yet. So say you had three there and two of you came here. Honestly, you could still keep right here, take the fights right here if there's any fights, break through this, clear this right here, and still be able to split the site. It's just gonna take longer. You could probably still split the sites, but what's it called? From from A, it's not as effective from stopping a mid to mid to A push, because if you do close that door, at least you know that the only places they can peek from is right here so maybe you're sick so say so say if you do activate that door right so say they have a main control and they have mid control right so say you do activate this door right here right so say if you activate this door maybe you smoke right here right and like get a better position from somewhere because you don't want to do updraft right here because they're gonna hear that unless you can can you jump right here probably not yeah you're not gonna make this jump so without doing updraft so without telling them that say i close that door i smoke this off and I reposition just just somewhere on site, right? I reposition. That's the first player is doing. He's repositioning on site, and then the second player, what's it called? Since you have that door closed, and they're gonna do a miss and a split. Maybe the second player is playing right here, like playing right here, holding this off. And you could probably have the mid player probably holding this right here. Mid player holding this if they're doing an a split, doing, and have the second B player holding this. And so it's easier on the first B player probably close this off. So only only has to watch this. That's how I would see. That's how I would see something happening if it was an A split. All right. So say let's say okay. So I think we already went over. 
this. Actually, we should probably go and check out the how durable these are. They're probably just like the same doors. Huh? What's the point of breaking this? Oh, you can wall bang it. Oh, snap. I honestly thought there was going to be a gigantic open wall right here. But no. It just makes it wall bangable. Honestly, like freaking like say if you want to go this fast and add mid control freaking <laughs> Oh my gosh freaking jet is way more viable for team play freaking they could push out of this because that was a terrible smoke, but whatever Let's check out the health of those doors Yeah, because I'm gonna test something. I wonder is like, can you const can you like continually um break it while it's coming down? Like just not even give it a chance. So say someone like so say someone closes it and they just hold right here. Like they're not gonna peek it while it's closing. So I wonder if, if it's like oh if I if they close it, they're just like oh no 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 fuck <laughs> that just ruins the whole point. Now, this is really the whole point of the rubber dude. You can just completely destroy it before it even comes down. So, forget the oh no, they close the door on us. Freaking, if you got a freaking air region, and you can just keep pushing. Oh, that's hot. That's crazy. I like that a lot. Let's see, we got some. Oh my god. Yo, this is gonna be dang. Yo, people do not. Can you want me this? Oh, you can't walk. Oh, dude. Freaking. Oh, dude. He's back inside. Oh, dude. I got you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, they have a lot of dangerous spots on here if you don't check it. Like, this could be so bad if your teammates don't check this. It could be really bad if your teammates don't check this. Obviously, it'd be bad if your teammates don't check this. Now, before I say, now before I conclude off the map and say that's it, we gotta, we gotta, um. 30 seconds left. We gotta look at where the barriers are. That's the one, the one more thing I gotta check. Eyes. Let's blow them over. All right, so where's mid at? All right, so mid, oh my God. You got the advantage. You're already holding for this mid pick. <laughs> You can get a really, really, really easy mid pick on the defensive side. I actually know though, but since this, oh wow, wait, what? Oh my, on the attack side? Sheesh, the spawns are up. Oh, snap, the fight for the orb on B because it's right there? Oh my gosh, it's literally right there. Yo, these are some forward spawns. This is about to be a, I can feel like this is gonna be a fast paced map. Like that's what it feels like so far. So in terms of the attacker side going for a mid pick, it definitely goes in the favor of the of the defending side for sure. For for B side, it's very neutral. I would say neutral in terms of getting that orb because you guys are, I mean, they can get over here sooner, I guess, because this corridor, this hallway length is a little bit longer, but like. The spawns for B are pretty even for attacker defensive side. The thing that attackers gotta worry about is like if they drop this, right? Let me see if I can get right in front of this. So if they drop this, maybe freaking. Oh, I can't do it. They gotta worry about this. Like this B spawn is crazy because if they're not paying attention, they could honestly probably get double peek. But that's probably where this player comes in right here. Hmm. So this spawn right here, you could probably play more than one middle. Oh snap! Probably at the beginning of the round. Ooh. <laughs> Yo. Probably at the very beginning of the round, you probably have one person holding right here, probably fighting for this orb or something, right? And you have the second player on defense holding right here for this pick. So since he's holding for this pick, the mid player can get this pick right here. Can take this gunfight because he already has a spawn advantage right here. And then for the B site, you just straight up have to worry about this. Oh my gosh. Yo, on defensive side, there's not that many places to worry about. At least at the start. 
and the spawns do seem pretty nice for like i feel like this might, might be defensive side because of that mid spawn like dude like yeah i think it might be defensive side literally just because of the, the mid spawn because because what's it called you already have mid control you already have mid control because look at this look at this boom i have mid control i'm holding up for now your spawn is over there i have mid control I technically have mid control until you do something because you got to go over here and you got to peek into this op and then you might be thinking but they have this spawn right here Moton. they have this spawn right here and what i say to that is the defensive side have this spawn right here so they can lock down mid very easily right off the bat from the start that's my verdict it's defensive sided because of this mid control there's probably more to it than that but like since i'm not trying to have like an hour video and I'll just try to have a good amount of video on the song about the map. First initial thoughts and seeing the animation. I'm going to like this map a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be streaming today at twitch.tv slash mormon09. Keep an eye over that. First, I got to get my school work done. I got to work out and get some more school stuff done. And then I'm going to be streaming Valorant today. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you guys in the next video and in my live stream today. Bye-bye. It's me and yeah, 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 yeah. Hey what's guys, Morbin here, reacting to Ignition, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like the chapter 1 battle pass to Valorant, you know, let's get right into it. Ignition, episode 1, it says episode 1.